tutorial on how to get the passwords for your students for use with Schoology, the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get onto your browser. In my case, that's Safari. Here in the URL, you are going to put this um, email address right here. HTTPS achieve LASD.net page with a capital P 5571. So I'm going to take this information right here and I'm going to put it into my URL up here. You could also just do a search for my data LAUSD and you're going to look for the page like the one that's going to come up. I'll show you in a just a bit. So I'm going to take this information I'm going to put it right here and I'm going to put this address into my browser. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash achieve dot LAUSD dot net forward slash capital P for page forward slash 5571 then I shall press enter okay so here's the page that it comes up with on this page this is where we're going to get the information that we need so that our students can begin to log on I'm going to click my data and we're going to come up with a page like this. On this page, you're going to need to put your um, single sign-on from LA Unified, your email address, and here you will put your password. So I'm going to go ahead and put my email address and my password. And then we're going to come to another page that's going to allow us to link onto a page that helps us to access our students' emails, which are going to be necessary. So on this page, we are going to click here, which is my data. Let's click my data. And you're going to find this portion of the page right here where it has student search, classrooms, school dashboards, and adult school information. So in this case, we're going to go to classrooms. We're going to make sure to click on the first one, which is my students' current year data. All these are your prior year data and even beyond that. So we're going to go to current year data. Click on that. And in this page, all we need is up here where it says email account roster, email account roster. So we're going to click here where it says email account roster. And it, you get this page. On this page, we are going to click the top one. The bottom one, my suspicion is that is for high school, account roster by class period. And then this one is for the elementary. So we're going to click there. And you are going to find this page. On this page, what you're going to need is, of course, your student name. But you're going to need the student district ID and the student PIN. I want to point something out about the student district ID. The, the ID of the school district is the first um, six numbers are usually the student's birthday. So it'll have the month, the date of the birthday, and the year. But you're going to put 2000 whatever the year they were born, not just the, not just the, the last two numbers of the year. And then it usually has an F or an M for female or male. And then after that, it'll have three random numbers that the school district picks. On occasion, that is not the case. Maybe there's two students that have the same name within the school district or the same birthday. And so then there's the, it's necessary for them to change it. And then you might find an X in the number and it won't be their birthday. You'll need to go to um, MISIS to access their birthday in order to complete the process. So, but we'll be going over that. Okay, so here we have this information. We're gonna to go to print and we will find a printable PDF. I suggest that you do this because you're gonna need this information. In my case right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a screenshot so I have this information. Okay, now I can move from this website now. It's not necessary anymore. I have the, the student emails ready to go. Okay, then from here, the next step is going to be to go to 
my um, login LAUSD. So we're going to go to this website, mylogin.lausd.net. So now I'm going to go to my URL here and I'm going to put mylogin.lausd.net. Okay, this page will come up. And I remember that's mylogin.lausd.net. This page will come up. What you're going to need is you're going to need to click here, which says student. Once you do that, it's going to say activate your account or reset a password. What we're essentially going to be doing is activating a student account. So we're going to click here. You guys can uh, just skip this part. Put agree in this little checkbox here and then accept. You're going to be hit with this page. And on this page, this is where you're going to need this information right here. This is what we're going to get the information for our student um, ID and their PIN number. So I'm going to move that to the side. The district ID number, I'm going to go ahead and punch it in here. I'm not going to say it out loud because this is um, confidential information. And it will probably be blocked off by the time that you see it, but you'll get the gist of what I'm saying. Okay, so then we have the student's birthday, which you will need. Remember, it's the first six letters, but you're going to have to put it in month, date, and year, exactly as it is right here, for example. The two numbers of the month, two numbers of the date, and the four numbers of the year. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and put that in. There's the month, forward slash, then I'm going to put the date, forward slash, and then I'm going to put the year with the four numbers in it. Then I'm going to go down to the student pin. Remember the student pin is found here on the, on the um, email roster. So now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put the student pin. And I'll put the student pin and then we're going to click next. Okay, once we click next, this page is going to come up. It's going to say new password and then re-enter the password. I suggest you come up with the easiest thing, which would be maybe your last name with um, some numbers um, that every student would get the same pin number, just to make it easy for yourself to remember if the students um, don't you know, remember and they ask you and you don't wanna have like 24 different pin numbers to remember. Um, it would be easier if you just create one uh, single sign-on pin for all your students and then just have them not share that. So I did that. I'm not going to update that. So now it says you can now use your password to log in. Please allow up to 15 minutes for your new password to be active. So while you're waiting for this password to become active, you can go ahead and go to the next name on your um, email roster. This is step one to get the kids logged into Schoology. This is where you're going to get information. You're putting the information for the students to log in. So basically what the students will need is just their email address, which again, you're going to go back to this list and the email address is listed here. And you give them their email address and the password that you came up with. And that's it for that.